Hello everyone, this is question number 37. This question belongs to artificial intelligence from searching topic. So here in the question, A star algorithm is optimal when? So it's a very beautiful question and we uh, in the many technical terms associate with this question. So four statement has been given and we have to identify which one is correct about the A star algorithm. So in the question they have used a term called optimal. So optimal is what? We have used various searching technique in data structure as well and in artificial intelligence we have studied more advanced searching techniques. So basically why we are doing searching? In searching an element in a database or even get the minimum cost of a path. Let's suppose we have a source and we have a destination and many other nodes are associated with this network and we have a various path to reach the destination. We have so many other paths here associated with this destination node. So we are standing at the source node and there are we have three different paths to reach the destination. So which one we will get the optimal result in optimal. I mean to say that in the minimum cost here in this path, I will get total three costs. Let's suppose this is weight. So I will get only three weight if I am using a path. And if I am using the path B, I will get, let's suppose the weight of the edges will be 5 and 2. So total weight I will get when we are following the path B. So here likewise we have the again the third path called C. If I choose this path over above these two paths, I will get the total weight that is 6. So Anyhow, here I am only getting five nodes in my network. What happen if I am using more than four nodes or more than 100 or 200 nodes? In that case, by doing manual calculation will be very taking a uh, time taking and very tedious task. So I am using various computer algorithm and various searching technique in order to get the optimal result. So an optimal result is always the one in which I get the minimum cost and cost in terms of the space in terms of the time as well. So on the optimal result, I will get always the minimum space and time. So optimization basically meaning of this to overall step is called the optimization optimization of the problem. So optimization means in which I am trying to solve a problem in minimum number of steps or minimum number of cost or time and the space. So here I am using a term called heuristic search here in the options you may also see the terms is used heuristic. So what does that mean? Heuristic mean a heuristic search is comes under informed search. So here two types of searching we have informed and uninformed in informed search where I know where is my goal. So here in this particular uh, example, I know where is my exact destination node. Here I know I have to reach this node in the destination node at the initial time like when I start this searching, I know that destination node is there and I have to reach there. This type of technique or this type of problems come under informed search where I know about the destination node where I didn't know about the destination node. Whereas in uninformed search, I don't know about the destination node and which searching techniques come under uninformed like BFS or DFS where I don't know what exactly the searching node or the node which I am searching and using these searching techniques BFS and DFS which comes under uninformed search. So let's talk about the informed search and informed search heuristic search is there. So heuristic search is the search in which I already know the destination and I am using the heuristic function here. So basically heuristic function is what heuristic function which tells the cost between these two source or these two nodes here at this stage of point. If I am using heuristic search, I know at this stage that later on how many weight I will get. So at the start node, if I'm using heuristic search and which comes under informed search, I know that at the point of A, my destination node will be how much for it will be or how much weight I could say I have to spend on this when I'm using this path A or path B or path C so on. So in heuristic search there are again two kinds of 
uh, or we can say the uh, heuristic search or the admissible searching so here we have the admissible here again a terms use admissible or non admissible which is like this not admissible so you must know what is the admissible or non admissible so here i am estimating what exactly i am doing here is i am estimating the how much cost i will pay when i choose the path a over here so similarly on path b i will i will at the initial state estimate that i will i will going to have the total seven weight while reaching the destination node so in admissible i will never overestimate this cost it's always underestimating underestimating or equals to the total cost so i can define this in mathematical formula like heuristic the total cost will be less than or equals to the total destination cost so at the initial stage i will be getting that the co total cost will be less than or equal to the total cost when it comes to the non admissible non admissible heuristic search where i am overestimating here in the overestimating in overestimating the total cost will be greater than equals to the total cost so this is all about the heuristic search and what is admissible and non admissible whereas the correct option for this question will be in terms of the a star algorithm which is always find the solution with the lowest total cost if the heuristic h is admissible so the correct option for this question will be option number 1